K A B. I yes, wanted sir. to ask about mm. um, the the opportunities in Ghana in terms of um, established, well established insurance companies. I know there's Glyco. There are other companies that mm. deal with car insurance, um, car, car insurance, insurance, and all that. But I really don't know, to be honest, about life insurance policy. I know once they they, they are insurance poli uh, establishment. Obviously, they will have different kinds of, you know, um, products in terms of insurance. Yeah, I, mu I must say for a fact, first of all, I do not advise for anything in Ghana. I don't at all advise for anything in Ghana. In fact, uh, my company, what we do, we are a whole of life in the UK, meaning that all the providers, the major providers of insurance, we advise for them. However, we advise mostly for the clients. The, why, the reason we say we advise for the clients is that we guarantee a claim in the future. When you gain advice from us to get insurance, we guarantee a payout. That is why our company would, in the end, pay you if the insurer fails to pay. Okay. Because we make sure that we set your insurance up right. But of course, in Ghana, there are com uh, companies that provide insurance. There's quite a good number that provides you with uh, private health care, um, life insurance itself that is paid on death. Mm -hmm. They offer critical illness cover. There is enterprise insurance, there is star insurance, um, glyco, and then the rest. There are quite a few. And I know recently on my platform, uh, WhatsApp platform, um, we had an agent in Ghana come speak to our group where they were introducing a new thing that enterprise insurance was bringing up. This was specifically for WhatsApp groups. You know, in WhatsApp groups, sometimes someone passes or someone's family passes and we are taking bits and bits of money, 20 pounds, 30 pounds here and that, to support. to support the person. What we are trying to do is to cut those things out yes. and then make it more decent because in the end, you will not we will not be given 5,000 pounds or 5,000 cities. You may end up with 2,000 cities or 3,000 cities. But what the insurance providers are doing, enterprise is proposing is that a maximum of 50 people in the group, mm -hmm. you take a cover, you pay a lump sum for the year. I think for our group it was about 313 pounds mm -hmm. for the year. And then if a parent of yours dies, that person gets 7,000 cities. If your wife dies, you get 15,000 cities. If you die, your wife gets 15,000 cities. So that's a 313. Yeah. If you divide that by month, that's not really much. Mm -hmm. You get me? Yeah. Let's say 20, 20 cities a month, mm -hmm. and then you still end up getting that amount of money. Yeah. So there's not gonna be a case where within groups, you have people who don't contribute monies when times get hard for other people end up benefiting yes. when other people who actually contribute don't benefit mm -hmm. you get me so there is that kind of standardized process for everyone so i think it's a spectacular pro proposal that they are bringing mm -hmm. and our group is looking to buy into that mm -hmm. there are about 170 people in our group mm -hmm. so we'll divide the group into three mm -hmm. so there's 50 50 50 anybody that wants to do it do it if you don't, then you don't complain if something happens to you or your family and you, and you get nothing you don't for hear it. From anybody. Yeah. Because it, it looks as if when there is death in the family, it brings burden on everybody. Yes. Just because nobody has signed up to life insurance. Yes. And it's really, really a, a hard you know, circumstance. Re reality, yes. Yeah. One, one beautiful thing. Um, about two months ago, I had this friend whose uh, mother passed in Ghana. No, in fact, the mother was here in the UK, but she had planned her life in such a way that the funeral cost, reception and everything was catered for. The funeral being moved from here to Ghana, the funeral in Ghana, he's left a good amount of money. He's planned how his funeral should go. <laughs> you get me? And so there was no cost involved. Everyone that was traveling within the family from the UK was paid for. Oh wow! You get me. So there's no excuse of oh I don't have money for tickets. Okay. The woman has planned her for departure everyone, for everyone to be that there. For everyone to be there. Is so there. Amazing, so you know? it, he's not begging you to come and then donate money. In Swabodia, don't keep you on Swabodia. 
I have covered my funeral. I am not going to the bank mm -hmm. to beg for loan mm -hmm. to take care of my mother and then it becomes a debt on me to pay. Mm -hmm. You get me? So when I'm dying, like myself, mm -hmm. I know I'm going to die. Mm -hmm. There's nothing in the world that I can take today to stop me from dying. Yeah. I yes. will die well, at some point in time. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow, 90 years time, I will die. Mm -hmm. So I have also taken the plan for my death so that in my departure, the lives of those behind me will be 10 times better than, yeah. than me, the life that I have. That is my plan. That is, get a good plan. Mm -hmm. that is a good plan. So obviously, but the thing is that you don't really cover Ghana. But in Ghana, when we were talking about when there, there's a funeral, you know, in the past, the way a lot of noise was being made and the way we scream and do all these things, yeah. it's all because the system of insurance or insuring your life is not something that has translated very well in the council. So how are we going to create that awareness, especially for Ghanaians living in Ghana? And there are well-to-do people that are, mm -hmm. are they, they don't even understand the insurance. Mm -hmm. So they need to, you know, create that awareness so that the advisors can reach out to them mm -hmm. and sell them insurance policies so that they can be able to. Um, I, I suppose with people that are maybe working as public servants or you know people that are in sort of uh, formal, uh, yeah. formal in the formal sector in banks and or that you have the SNET yeah. uh, that are providing this type of insurance uh, you know, for them. So they don't have a problem, but the masses of the people are in the, you know, sort of, uh, what should I say, uh, background economy, That's right. majority of the people. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's a matter of creating that education, that awareness. It's about 95% of Ghanaian. Well, the 20% are informal, and about 80% are informal. Of course, mm -hmm. so it's about creating that awareness and also making the ordinary person know that these things they do cost but they don't cost too much if you yes. put your mind to it mm. it is affordable mm. and so rather than them you know waiting for these things to happen they can also now start approaching maybe their banks or to find out if there are this mm. sort of insurance facilities yeah. for them I mean, to the, pay. The, the good thing that i've had so far but those like you said those in the formal sector they get given these insurance facilities as incentives to work. Yes. So over here in the UK, there's something we call relevant life. Relevant life is something that government, it's a benefit inclined in the sense that you can claim about 40% back through taxes. So if I have a business of whatever number of people, and I think that this person here is very important to my business, I want to keep this person. What can I do to keep him? I need to try and bring in some incentive. So I say to you, listen, I'm going to protect your life so that if something happens to you in the whole period of you working for us, your family will get 200,000 pounds. Guess what? That will help him make a decision to stay with the company. Yes, that is quite You get me? So what I do then is I use my limited liability company mm -hmm. to ensure his life. And then when I file my taxes, I'm able to put it as a cost oh. and then claim that money back. Yes. Well, a chunk of that money back. Okay. You get me? That one is cheaper than doing the raw life. That is if you have a, um, a limited liability company. Mm -hmm. So even me, let's say I am the director of the company, I can decide that my actual life insurance policy, I put it through my business mm -hmm. as relevant life. Relevant life is the only one you can claim back through taxes. Okay. Your personal, private insurance, you can't. Mm -hmm. You get me? Yes. So in this country, they have that. In Ghana, I know that most of the companies do that. I don't know what they call it, whether it's a relevant life in Ghana, but they have it where they give to their um, staff members. So if any of them get sick, any of them should die, their families get a lump sum. Mm -hmm. You get me? They understand. You see, the corporate society understand the essence of insurance. Mm -hmm. They understand what it means. And I've, it's always bothered my mind that in this country especially, the rich, who would say have enough money to bequeath to the people behind them, mm -hmm. 
are so keen when it comes to insurance. You get me? They will buy the whole of life policy, no problem. They will insure themselves on millions, but the person that has nothing, nothing is the guy that's not do doesn't that. want to take up insurance to change the life of the people that's behind. Right. Yes. Is it about the awareness or the knowledge of about what the insurance is about or is it selfishness no i think i don't think it's selfishness i think mm. it is about awareness they don't understand uh, how it works yeah because uh, you know some of these things can be quite overwhelming in terms of maybe documentation in terms of small print yes. in terms of the advice mm. the complexity mm -hmm. of how this whole thing works yes can deter people from Mm. bothering to check yeah what look it at this the, the, the number of hours we spent here that, yeah, filling yeah. in those daunting forms mm. for correct. almost how long god that's knows right. correct that's so right. these you type know? of mm. things you can imagine mm. that you know your average joe may not be interested yeah. uh, but i think that uh, with this you as an expert coming on this program uh, opens up the door for people to now to begin to understand and imagine that they mm. can participate yeah. in this um, idea mm. yes i mean i think it's information 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 um and then there are people who have had bad experiences in the past so they've spoken to other people about their bad experiences it's gotten into their and they minds use that and they use that as an excuse yeah, not yes. to even bother mm -hmm. with insurance mm -hmm. You get me, and that is the that misconception is what I'm trying to erase from the minds of people. Mm -hmm. That you sleep in your bed the way you lay it. Yeah. How insurance is set up for you from the beginning will determine whether it will pay off in the future. Yeah. Which is why it's important that someone like me, you call me and then we have a conversation. It will be free. It's free. The free advice. It's all free. Mm -hmm. And then I'll set you up on a comprehensive policy, which is guaranteed to pay out, to pay out yes. yeah. in the future. So don't go and be misold by the banks and all these crooked agencies. Mm -hmm. You have to get a specialist who yeah, will then be an advisor, mm -hmm. take you through all the bits and bobs, the, the details, the small prints, the fine prints, for you to understand how you have to get through this whole thing so that you will get yourself Welcome back viewers, um, we have to continue with the program. Uh, Mr. K.A.B. Um, Kwame Asare Bwadu, I want to ask you the best um, insurance policy in terms of the duration, the term, the age mm. and all the nitty gritty that will help an individual watching us right now mm. to go for. Yo. Um, the best age to go for a life insurance policy would be 20 years or even 18 years at 18 years you're an adult yes. and at 18 years insurance will be very very cheap for you very very cheap so you go for an insurance policy over a longer period you want to spread it for as long as you can get most of the people who are quite clued up on insurance would want to go for what is called the whole of life. Whole of life means that it has no end date. Yes. It only expires when you die. So before you carry on, mm. when you are 18 and you go for that policy mm. and you have it cheap, mm. is it going to be increasing with time or is it going to be the same it's premium about, that you're going to be paying? It is about how it will be set up for you. Mm -hmm. I would recommend that you set it up on level term. Level 10 means that it will not increase, it will not decrease. Mm -hmm. It will stay the same over the period of the insurance policy. That's good. So this is the premium that you are going to be paying, the person is going to be paying. The person will be paying that premium on a level 10. Mm -hmm. okay. However, what about the, sorry, what about the, um, the, the, the sum assured? That, mm -hmm. So if it is on a level 10, mm -hmm. the premium will not change, the sum assured will, will not, also change. not change. It okay. will stay the same. So true. you assure yourself you are 18 years old, you think, oh, I'm smart. 
I need to ensure myself because soon I'll be having my own family. I, in fact, I even have my mother, my father still around. If anything happens, I want them to have some money. Okay, so I'm 18. I take up a policy to give my family 200,000 if anything should happen to me and I die. Maybe you're paying 10 pounds for that 200,000 at 18 which years old. Which is that is a good deal. Which that is a deal. fantastic deal. That's Cheap. Deal. KFC is worth more than that, right? Okay, so. For the whole of your lifetime, if you go for whole of life, pay, until you die, if you, you die at 120, you it's pay 10 pounds. 10. And all you get will be that 200,000. Oh, some wow. Sort. That's, that's good, right? isn't it? Mm. And, but, and also, the, mm. even the other question will be mm. like, let's say you start today a tenner. By 20 years, a tenner, you pay it without even... It will be like if chicken, it, it will be like chicken, 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 chicken feed. Exactly. Because because obviously as a person your 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 income will be growing mm -hmm. yes. your, over time. your income yeah. Yeah. will be growing over time mm -hmm. so you realize that whatever it is that you're paying is mm -hmm. like it, even if it's like not worth Kentucky or mm -hmm. something today, <laughs> tomorrow you'll be like, oh, you know, I, I don't know, it's, not, it's, it's nothing. nothing. You, you might want to call back and then ah. increase the premium, you know, yeah. to raise so it. Even take another, yeah, you take sure. a different take extra policy. life insurance. Or you can yeah. take a different, like a savings, a savings, plan, yes. a savings plan or something. Or, yeah, by paying to your patient. Yes. Let's also know that whole of life, because it's forever, it's quite expensive compared to a termed one you know it's like um when you go to state lotto back in those days in ghana where you say i'll give you 20 numbers pay it that will cost more than <laughs> pay these 20 numbers for me it's uh, going to cost you more because your chance of winning is higher but if you go and you give them five numbers mm -hmm. i want Sweet. these five numbers show my card yeah that's cost you less, less but because the chances, chances of winning talent is, is very little. Very, you get me? Yeah. It's the same thing with insurance. You are banking your risk on somebody mm -hmm. that I might not get to this age. Mm -hmm. So if you limit it to a term instead of a whole of life, it is less expensive. So viewers, mm -hmm. you have to understand where our expert is coming from. That is the advice. Go for the what? The life you can go for the whole, it, of the whole life of life if you yeah. can afford it. When you yeah. if you're very young, it's if you're very young, it's cheaper. It's cheaper. It's cheaper. It's yeah. Yeah. If you can afford it, but if you cannot afford it, there is hope. Okay. Two companies, Aviva mm -hmm. and Royal London, mm -hmm. they've come up with a beautiful product mm -hmm. called the conversion. Mm -hmm. So, if I had a board, I would have showed you something. But check this out. If you take a whole of life today at age 20, mm -hmm. for example, you might be paying 100 pounds a month okay. for the rest of your life, mm -hmm. which is quite expensive mm -hmm. for a young guy at 18. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what you can do, don't take whole of life. Mm -hmm. Take a termed policy mm -hmm. at 18. Aviva will do it to 71. Mm -hmm. okay. So you pay 10 well, pounds. Well, it's not bad. Yes, it's not bad. Yes, yes, up yes, to yes. the age 71. Oh, wow. Okay. And then when you get to 71, because you bought conversion, mm -hmm. they will call you and say, listen, you took a policy some time ago. You bought conversion. Do you want to convert it now to a whole of life? Mm -hmm. They will give you the opportunity at 71 to convert it to whole of life. And is that going to be very expensive? It will be expensive, but you would have saved that whole period from 18 to 71 mm -hmm. when you should have been paying 100 pounds mm -hmm. and then you start paying that 100 pounds from 71 mm -hmm. okay which, until which you makes die. sense mm -hmm. okay 71 is efficient yeah, you get this until yeah. you die then you pay it from 71 instead of paying it from 18 to 71. Mm -hmm. zurich that's better than aviva mm -hmm. they give you the chance to convert at 83. okay oh wow okay. so there's competition right there isn't it exactly so what Zurich does is that if you buy a policy today, because you want it over a long time, because we don't know when we will die. Mm -hmm. yeah. We might die today, we might die at 100 years. Mm -hmm. So you want a policy that goes very, very far. Mm -hmm. So Zurich will give you an opportunity if you are 40 years today, 20 years later. Buy the conversion. To go to mm -hmm. 83 yeah. 
and then you convert mm -hmm. at 83. So you pay cheaper all the way to 83. Wow, and then, that and is then great. You, and then, then you, you convert. For the conversion. But if you don't take the conversion from the beginning, mm -hmm. you cannot buy the conversion later. You see? Okay. Now, so another thing I need to check is that when you thank you very much if for you the information. If you are to buy the conversion, mm -hmm. would that then mean that your premium may go up for choosing a product that has that uh, facility all of life no no the product that has the conversion con conversion yes, conversion is not free uh -huh. that yes. conversion mm -hmm. is an add-on mm -hmm. and so if your life policy at 18 may cost 10 pounds mm -hmm. that conversion you are adding or could cost about five pounds extra, extra. okay mm -hmm. so you end up paying 15 pounds because of the conversion, conversion. So then when you get to 71 with Aviva and then 83 with Zurich, mm -hmm. then you can convert to whole of life and then you start paying big money. Mm -hmm. What they are both, the white folks do is when they get to 71 or 83, where they know that now I'm not working, mm -hmm. my pension is exhausted, I don't have the money, their children mm -hmm. take over the policy and pay on their behalf. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they are close to death, isn't it? And who is going to benefit? And they will benefit. Absolutely. They will benefit. Yeah. Oh, so you mean to say that mm -hmm. the case will now take over the converted part? Yes. And then they will yes. pay. They will then pay. They pay. Ah. If they are about waiting for the day. Wow. Big day. <laughs> I'm waiting for the lottery day, you know? <laughs> so they know it's that smart. Uh, old man is going to go yeah. anytime soon. So we might as well. So 200,000 waiting. Mm -hmm. We might why as well. don't, rather than we leave the policy to die, mm -hmm. why don't we pay for it? Why don't we pay for it? Yeah. And then sustain the policy because he probably doesn't have 10 years to go. He yeah. has 20 years to go. Mm -hmm. Any time he died between from now to whatever the policy ends, we will get 200,000 and it's yeah. among us. At least it's going to better our lives. You get me? Mm -hmm. So that is what they do mm -hmm. to sustain the policy. This, and is, this is very interesting yeah. information. Mm. Very, 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 very it's, smart. It's, it's a smart yeah. thing. So, you don't you want know, a policy. You, nobody wants the insurance policy to end. You know, the, the banks and all these guys won't tell you all this because they don't have that knowledge. Mm. They don't have that expertise to really break it down for you to understand. Mm. They'll just sell you and then you wouldn't be able to claim. So this is why you need here you are breaking it down mm. and telling us what to do. Mm. And it's going to help the youth out there. Yeah. yeah. So you also 18 and above, get your policy, sign up, and make sure straight. You 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 you, you get you're, covered. You're covered. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you can insure Royal London and the others. You can also insure up to 90. For them, they don't have the conversion. Mm -hmm. Only two companies do the conversion: Zurich and Aviva. Aviva that, that's it till 71. Zurich till 83. So who is it's, it's who, now being who is, doing it till, so, who is doing it till 90? And that is a term. That is a term. And Royal the, London, Zurich, they, Aviva, do they all do 10, the term. to 90. Mm -hmm. To 90, okay. Yeah. And the term, are you going to pay high or low? No, the term is, re term is cheaper, cheaper, okay. cheaper than the whole of life. All right. Whole of life is forever. Mm -hmm. You get yeah, it? That's yeah. a lotto. That's, that is that's a, a, a winning lotto number. <laughs> so that's 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 you have to pay exactly. That is, that is sure banker. Sure banker. Okay. Mm. So sure banker, you have to pay more. You have to pay but, more. But as he was saying, mm. Our white folks are doing a smarter move yeah, whereby the the kids, yeah, the when the guy shows up like 71, 83, he's mm -hmm. still alive. They're going to bump up the money. Mm -hmm. The kids will say that mm -hmm. we pay. Yeah. Don't worry, we'll pay yeah. because we're going to collect that 200 when we push you over. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Absolutely. Think, I think a sense of humor, you know. This is, yes, this is yes of course. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. So yes, they will do that. And probably I'll, I'll draw in some statistics mm -hmm. Yes. to help us appreciate what everything that we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. Again, if you were Ghanaian and you still fear the word death, get used to it because it happens. It's, come. it's happening to you. It's inevitable. It is happening yeah. around your family. Yeah. As they are going, none of them prepare for mm -hmm. it. So yes. stop thinking, thinking, plan ahead, plan for your death. Yes. And even, and even as you obviously, it, let's use 2020 as a year. Ah, yes. Um, I'm, and I'm very sure 2020 was a year that I, I was very hopeful about it. I was I'm extremely sure. hopeful. 31st December 2019, I was yeah. in church. My resolution was. I'm huge. sure. I'm sure you would have gotten a prophecy or something <laughs> to say that it's going to happen. Absolutely. But obviously, we all know mm. what has happened in 2020. Mm. Mm. Deaths everywhere. 
people dying left, right, centre. Yeah. This is a wake up call for our community, mm -hmm. the black community, not even just the Ghanaian community, but mm -hmm. you know, people from black and ethnic minority backgrounds, yeah. to wake up and realize that you know, nobody knows tomorrow. No. And for that matter, let's get insured. Mm -hmm. Let's call in the experts. Let him sit you down. Let him tell you how it is. And make a decision. It's only prudent for, to for, 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 subscribe for, for, for. to a life policy because death right. is inevitable. So yeah. please, viewers out there, um, globally, those watching from Ghana, those watching from Asia, those watching from Europe, America, and all that, is a life policy that we are talking about today. And it's very, very imperative that you get yourself covered. And um, we still have some statistics to um, digest. digest. Yeah. So Mr. KAB on my right side is going to Give go through numbers. the numbers so that we know how serious this whole thing is. Mm -hmm. Should we go on? We'll yeah. Take a break. Um, Let's let's come back and then we will continue with where we left off.